Hey everyone, I'm Erwin Marine. Welcome back to the channel and my next Escape from Tarkov video. Well, not so much video, but series. I mean, this is a video, but we're gonna do a series here. And it's a series I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I bought an account back in like January of 2020 and wanted to do like a playthrough series, if you will. It just kind of shows how you get through a, through a full, you know, base level one character all the way to Kappa and maybe even a fully upgraded hideout. Uh, I just never took the time to do it, but we're there now and we're gonna jump through. And a big push for this is this wipe. Uh, I've got Kappa, which I've had in past wipes, but got more money than I know what to do with. And it's not that I'm bored with the game. I just wanna try something different. I wanna add an aspect of challenge back into it and make more matter than just PVP and finding really top tier loot. You know, get back into that sense where when you find a spark plug, it's exciting. You know, that kind of stuff I think makes the game so much better. And aside from the few days before I upgraded EOD, I've always had a gamma in that larger stash size. So I figured what a better way to go back now than to start with an alpha, get to kappa, and let's do a series on it. Let's play it up for everybody so they can see it. They can see the struggles, the mistakes I made, you know, the good luck or some home runs we had, and we'll just enjoy it together. Now, instead of just playing, you know, with no pressure, no pushing to it, I wanted to set one kind of rule or guideline, if you will. And that is to see if we can do it in as fewer raids as possible. Now, how many is this gonna take? I have no idea, two, 300, 400. It took me 350 or 360 on my regular account, but we're gonna play completely different. And because of that, a lot of these raids are gonna be slower. We're gonna try to stack as many tasks into each raid as we can and kind of do our tasks in a way that we get bunches of them grouped together. And then see if we can keep that you know, maybe we can get get it done in 150 or 200 raids or something like that. I, and then kind of set a bar and then maybe we try to beat that again later. And as we go through this, it might change, who knows, white might happen before we get there. But either way, we'll have fun along the way and I appreciate you hanging out. So let's get started. All right, boys. So yeah, we go right in like that, shall we? Let's look around, let's see what we got. Cause I don't even remember. Oh, we got a little bit of fuel. Look at this, it's so cute. It's so cute. We got our bayonet, so we'll take that out. Base level M4, MP5, armor, rig. All right, so we need to go get our tasks. First things first, get your tasks. So five scavs on customs and 133s, which is a harder than it sounds. Soleil was, which isn't too bad. We should be able to do that on one raid, maybe. I don't think there's anything else, right? Yeah, I need level two for gunsmith. And only business. That's level 15. I suppose we'll go ID everything, huh? Yo, this process blows. I forgot about this. But you got to get it done. You got to get it done before you go into raid. Because if you don't and you pick something up, you're fucking hose bagged. All right, I think that's everything. Um, I feel like... I need to do something to this because this is going to make my life miserable if I'm not. Oh boy, it's been a while since I've had to struggle. So 5,000 for that. And then we can get a decent sight. Or do we go at night? You know what? Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we load in at night. Both turn a boy, new account. We're going to try to go... Uh... uh see how fast we can get cap on this account and raids like i'm gonna push for it but i'm not like super like okay i gotta get this done is there no good sites to buy there isn't is there i mean legit like this is the best site i'm gonna be able to buy right now huh we also need to go look at the hideout and see what uh what items we need to save for the hideout Huh, there is no good site for this thing. Guess we just rock this boy. All right, so we're gonna take that off, put that on, we'll take that off, put that on. All right, now we got, now we got an M4. That's not all that great. We're gonna put, I should put a, I should get a grizzly. If we can find a grizzly, that'll be a home run. We're not gonna bring food in. Um, we will put this here and I'm going to put, I'm actually going to bring two mags in. Um, just cause I don't think that if I get into a fight, it's going to be all that worthwhile. And I think this is how we'll run. 
I think this is how we'll run. Though I think that's actually worth more. That will do that. Okay. Um. So let's go check out the hideout. Let's see what we need there. Another cup. Yeah, I think got sus. I think about three months, dude. So vents we can upgrade. Um, illumination we can upgrade. What do we need for laboratory? So we need toilet paper and soap and toothpaste. So we'll keep those. Uh, bolts and nuts. We need tons of those things. What do we need? What's that? Oh, it's a syringe. So we need a syringe. So syringe, bolts, nuts, soap. So Alamo it is. Then what's that? It's measuring tape. All right. All right. Here we go, boyos. This is actually really good. We can go late at night. This is actually really, really good right here. I don't have a flashlight I can put on this, do I? Hmm. We're gonna go in at night and not dark, dark night. But let's see, can I, does he sell any? What I need to do is I need this thing, but then I need to be able to put a rail on it, but I can't. Damn. You put a rail on that? Yeah, you can put a flashlight on that. All right, so what's the cheapest flashlight? This guy? Yep. All right, so we're gonna go at night on our first raid and we're gonna carry this and one extra mag. All right, I think we're ready. I think we are ready. Ensure. Next. 21, 2059. First raid. First raid. Yeah, no, I still, I want the M4, guys. I just want the flashlight on the gun. I want the M4. Am I allowed scav runs? Oh, yeah, Warblad. We're not going to play any crazy special rules on this. We're just starting from scratch. You didn't take the M4? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's why I'm holding the pistol, huh? Fuck. Oopsie. What would I do without chat? I would be lost. Now, I think we still would have done good. It would have been a rough start. It would have been harder to kill fucking scavs, but. Yeah, this is kind of what it's going to be, Mazur. It's going to be kind of a raid series deal. So there's going to be a lot of... I'm going to do a ton of commentary um, as I play. And then I'll throw in some... When we go to edit it, we'll throw in some overlays, you know, maps, things like that. And by the way, if you guys notice anything weird um, with the sound, music, anything like that, don't hesitate to holler at me. We're still tweaking stuff. Like if something's too quiet or something's too loud... Uh, let me know. All right, so we're good. <laughs> no, not a... Oh, it's raining too. That's super handy. How do you level charisma? I'd have to go look Psykel, but basically uh, anything that levels memory or any of that other stuff levels charisma as well. So looting, basically looting. White might next be next week. No way, TV. No way, man. I would be happy if it was, but there's no way it's next week. Yo, this is actually a killer spawn for us. This is super good. That spawn puts us right next to Alamo, which is huge because there's a ton of meds in here. We can get to them right away. Game 
seems a bit loud compared to voice. Well, we can turn her down a little. Either of those are worth picking up. that better? How about that? All right, so we're looking for Salewas, um, which is one there. Nice. But we're going to take anything we can really find out the gate, and then we'll sort through loot as we get through it. I don't know. Is that for an... That's for an STM. Okay. Well, something to sell. We got two sites of the same kind. We looted that. We looted that. We'll hit this. And I'm hesitant to go up on the roof. But we can do this, actually. We need that for a task. We actually need that for a task. So we're gonna... We're gonna plug that. Because you need that for a gunsmith task later. It's worth a bunch of money. I don't know if I need that. I think I do. I know there's a ton of barters and shit out there. Like, I should honestly be keeping a list. Dude, what do we got here? What's that do? Pumping station. Eh, it's factory, but... All right, so we're going to go up and hit the tech crates. And med crates up here. That's actually worth a bit to the vendors. We need that. That's vendorable. We'll take that. Though I'm not sure why yet. When do I think the wipe will be? I think it'll be with uh, 1211. But that's obviously super subject to change. Um, did not mean to shoot that. I feel like that pumping station key, I should have kept it, but it's gone now. What do we got here? That's BS. That's actually a really good find. We need soap. Um, knackle doesn't do us a lot of good. We need morphines. Get rid of the car. Chocolate. Interesting. I mean, it's it is if you have flea market, Baldi, but I don't need it any anymore. Um, or I don't need it till I have flea market open. Like, I'm hoping right now that this is just a, uh, everybody's doing tasks or cash runs. We end up avoiding anybody we run into, possibly. When you're full like this, should, should a person leave? Like, right now, I should leave. And I, the only reason, I'm going to check this because it's on the way to extract. But basically, we're headed out right now. 
And if we're lucky and UN's open, it will be fucking, or our UAF is open. That'll be huge. But we need to find three Salewas, which would be a big deal. You know, like, I'll throw this thing out if we find Salewas and shit. Like, I don't even, I shouldn't even be keeping that, to be honest with you. Like, our stash is so small, we're going to be struggling uh, to... that door open up there? Nope. We're going to be struggling uh, for things with the stash. of how small our stash is so we're going to be working on getting a couple of tasks done uh and then getting the hideout stash upgraded i think will be our next kind of big Ooh, we need that we need that we need that we need that um et Be a jacket here. Oh, it's right here. There it is. What we got here duct tape. All right, so we'll drink all of this and we'll take the duct tape. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we can toss here. S and B ammo. BM PP. All right. Hmm. You know, the beauty of this is I should, you're right, I should toss the car and put this here. I think somebody said that. I just misunderstood what you were saying. Um, that is definitely the play right there for sure. And we should do this because we need this for the hideout. Where'd that syringe go? There it is. So we need that for the hideout. We're going to insurance fraud our flashlight here and put that one on there. And now we have a little bit more space. I just hope nobody finds that flashlight. Got to be very careful and make sure nobody's ratting us in here. So that cabinet right there has high value loot spawn, which would help us a bunch now with cash. Because the two things we're going to need a bunch of is cash. Um... Things that aren't super important right now are like, uh, like for money isn't necessarily as important as things we can craft. So like, I know we can use this ripstop in the laboratory and craft some stuff. So we got a soap. We need a toilet paper still. Yeah, I'll go up to med room and check dead scav for sure, guys. We're just going slow to make sure we're not stumbling upon somebody. BP 58 rounds. No, I'm not doing hardcore, bud. Just a regular account, but um, a fresh regular account. Like the Cyclone, I'm keeping it because I can sell it to the vendor for quite a bit, but I think that might be the next thing that goes here. Don't you need a cleaner for something? I know we need all of these for shit. We just don't have... We're not there yet, so we're not going to worry about it. Because I have a feeling we're going to find our Salewas we need upstairs. I think the CMS kit's going to be the next thing to go. Yo, Hornsby. Thanks for the five months, dude. I feel like the game's telling me to take a cleaner right now.
for nutritional unit three. Okay, so we're quite a ways away from that then. I should search those filing cabinets, but um, we'll save that towards the end. There's a sleigh we need. Better than a nurse merch. VM ammo. Is that everything in here? Yep. All right, let's see if we can find one more. If we get lucky and find another Salewa here, we're out. It's a bandage. Pretty sure that's an augmenting. Damn, it would have been nice to have found one more Salewa in here. be done with that quest already. All right, we're going to search these things, see if we can find any, uh, no, that's still there, Wentworth. That spawn's still there. I know we'll need those eventually, but not right now. We're going to stay focused. You don't want to get too much ahead of yourself. Like, we'll actually be really nice, um, if we can, ooh, It'd be really nice if we can uh, get a couple of scavs at checkpoint, even. Um, just, oh, I need that, too. Son of a bitch. Uh, what do we toss, guys? I think we toss the band. Uh, we'll toss the AA, too. I don't think the chocolate's worth keeping, either. I mean, maybe. If we get really lucky and get to level 10 fast, but... What key did we get? Customs key. Ooh, we need that. Yes, sir. -y. That's a huge find, guys. That's a huge find. What do we got here? Cricking it? Yep. What do we got? What do we got? Key 203. Oh, and a power bank. Son of a... All right, humpback, you're gone. And we can find plenty of more morphines. And I'm keeping the blue gunpowder because we can use that for a barter for uh, ammo. Uh, crate, I believe, unless they... Unless... Unless they took that barter out. Yeah, but I don't have... Uh, problem is, David, I don't have flea market right now. So even though you are correct, it is worth a bunch of money. God, I wish there was a fucking Slaywa right here. Sometimes there is. I'm in here looking for toilet paper. Legit. We need that for a... Is Eagle and Thermite now? Oh, okay. Seven six two PS. Not super useful. So I'm just moving super, super slow because we do have a check, uh, a choke point right here in case somebody decides to, uh, uh, you know, rat us out. Oh, perfect. There's scabs over there. So ideally what you want to do is run. Oh, that's so good. Um, blue gunpowder. I think we'll get rid of that because that's a barter for another Salewa. Is this a new account entirely? I didn't wipe my main Patriot. It's a new account, dude. I, it's a separate separate account. So I've still got my main account. It is, King. Um, there, There's... The idea is to get as much done as possible. So right now, if we can kill a couple of... If we can get five scavs killed... Which there's one right here.
running around. How many mag how much round do we have with nine? Because this extract is open. No No And we got ourselves some better armor already, boys. Because we can do this. Throw that out and probably throw that out. All right, now we're gonna bounce. We got one scav kill. We got our Salewas. We got an armor we can run now. All right, successful first raid. So we took advantage of a close spawn and a close extract. I can't believe we didn't run in any players, but I guess that's the whole goal of running at night. Yeah, I know I need three, bud. I got two of them though, we got two. So we can, um, that we'll, we'll, we'll roll it back. We'll take all this stuff out. We'll actually put that armor on um, and run with that armor. And uh, maybe even update some of our hideout stuff. Oh my gosh, the stash is so small. All right, so one raid. That's all we got, but it was a good raid. We got some items. We survived, which is huge, and progressed. Uh, on the next episode, we'll go into woods, uh, try to get Jaeger done, and see how many more tasks we can pile into each raid. Uh, again, we'll be rolling woods, it'll be dark, and we're going to be moving slow to try to up that survival rate and make sure we get through our raids alive and not die and not make any progress. So, we'll see you on the next episode. Well, that wraps up the video. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that like button, because it helps out the channel a bunch. And subscribe for future content. We also have a Discord, links down in the description, that you can come join. We're filling up with a bunch of chill people who just love to play Tarkov. If you're looking to support the channel in other ways, we've launched a Patreon, with some benefits like access to a Discord channel, a constantly updated spreadsheet for my hideout calculations, and some other things if you want to go check it out over there. Lastly, thanks for your support on YouTube. It means the world to me, and I greatly appreciate every one of you. So with that, we'll wrap up and we'll see you in Tarkov.